boy MB in the place to be. Um, I just want to uh, say something on this video um, about a customer just came. And let me tell you guys about this. So whoever else come to me, we'll know how to play this out because this is getting ridiculous. Like I had a guy just dropped off a 2015 Malibu to me. 2015 rear end damage and front damage, right? So he came for the rear end. I fixed the rear end. Like I said, I didn't put that video up because, like, I do a lot of little small jobs, like uh, fender benders and all that. I do that a lot. I do that a whole lot. That's how I really keep afloat. You know what I'm saying? But I had a guy, you know, and this is how you know people who you know, people that know you is the main one that don't want to give you a dime. You know what I'm saying? They they, they don't want to give you nothing. They feel like since you do this and, you know, it should be free because I know you. Nigga, get your ass free. Don't pay my bills. And what you eat don't make me shit, first of all. But anyway, I had a guy bring a car and I gave him a beautiful ass price. Man, you couldn't beat the price. This guy kept on trying to blackball me. You know what I'm saying? Like, nah, man, it's cheaper, 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 cheaper. So I got to the point where I told him, I said, man, don't even worry about it, man. Um, you know, because I do a lot of uh, cash payments through Western Union and MoneyGram. So I'm like, send a little money. He want to send me half of the deal I gave him. You know what I'm saying? I gave him a deal already. So he said, well, I ain't got that much. So I gave him another deal. You know what I'm saying? So then he said, well, I ain't got nothing but half of that. So, you know what I'm saying? Salute to you, homie. Just come pick up your car. You know what I'm saying? But my main thing, the reason why I'm making this video for anybody that come in the future, man, if you don't have no money, do not bring your car. If you think this is a buddy plan, do not bring your car. I got guys, I don't gave them mega deals, man. They still haven't paid. You know what I'm saying? So my thing is this, man. I get a lot of people be uh, jaw jacking to my old buddy, take his time, take his time. You guys don't pay right. You know what I'm saying? You guys want to take all day, all year, and then... When I get to the point where I don't really want to fuck with your car and, you know, it's just too much. Like, I have guys be trying to bring cars, don't bring no money. No, I'm sick of this shit. You know what I'm saying? And then I just thought about it. I'm like, oh, okay, I see what they're doing. They're using my kindness for my weakness. So, now, like I said, anybody that knew me, like, when I was younger, I was an asshole, man. I was an asshole. But as I got older, I meddled out and, and became more of a people's person. But I see soon as you be a people person, man, they'll try to run over you. So, man, I think I'm saying if you gonna, guys going to deal with me, man, deal with me the right way. Because, you know, for every action, there's a reaction. You know what I'm saying? So, you can't go to no shop and just drop your car off and say, uh, I I'll pay you whatever. You know what I'm saying? They're going to charge you as soon as you drop that motherfucker off for storage. And then, so the guy that's supposed to get the car done, you know what I'm saying? It's nothing personal. I'm just saying that. People do dumb shit and then they send you a text saying, well, I'm going to take it somewhere else. Take it somewhere else. You know what I'm saying? But I guarantee you, your ass ain't finna play with them like that. You're going to cash them out. You're going to cash their ass out. You ain't going to say nothing about it. You know what I'm saying? You ain't going to say nothing about it. You're going to give them people their money. Excuse me what I'm finna say, but they'll pay the other man instead of the brother, man. They'll run right to the other man with a bag full of money. Like, here you go. Kiss his ass and everything. But when it comes to a brother, man, that's no... You no, know, like I said, I'm not like the, like what say the like the the biggest thing in the Midwest. I'm not the biggest thing in the Midwest. I know everything I do, somebody else can do. But I don't think I'm telling you, you're not gonna go with nobody with no money and drop your car off. Now, if y'all out there in YouTube world, somebody bring y'all know I go through this with these people all the time. It be the ones that don't want to give you nothing. That's why I like dealing with people from out of town, people that live around you. That's, that's what they, 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 they don't want to see you make it. Like, I, I done had a couple of guys come through, oh, man, just let me drop it off and, you know, sit it over there and then you take your time. Hell, fuck no. Nah. I'm not here to take my time. I need, I'm here to make money. So for everybody out there, I think they're going to drop their car off and not pay anything and wait months and months and months to make a payment and then, you know, want me to hurry up. You know what I'm saying? Like, what the hell is going on? I'm one person, man. And I gave everybody that ever came to me a deal. Can't nobody say, oh, that guy overcharged me for anything. No, no, no. My problem is these guys that I know don't want to give you no money, but they want to brag to my man, Joe, I'm going to go spend about 50 bags with this nigga. Come around and want to spend $100, $200. And then go run and tell somebody at this, man, get the hell out of here, man. Like I said, I'm not angry or anything. I'm just a little discomfort. You know what I'm saying? With people 
why they play like that, but I got a trick for the ass this year. You know, I don't really care, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm straight at this point right now, but I don't think I'm saying um, you guys want to deal with the boy. If you guys ain't got no money, keep it moving, man. Don't even stop by here, man, because like I said, it's, it's too much unnecessary bullshit. You know what I'm saying? So, sign out. It's your boy MB. I catch y'all on the next one. Y'all know I got to get back to this five glass joint. I got to get my man Stormy. Stormy, man. Shout out to you, Stormy, man. That, that's, that's my man. My man, Kimble. I mean, Kibble. Uh, you know what I'm saying? That's my man. Um, you know, my, my, my motherfucking twin Gemini, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, them guys that I'm, I'm doing big full jobs for, you know, it's cool. But a little bitty ass job? Like a bumper and a fender, and you want to play game? Nigga, I knock bumpers and fenders out in one day. That's one day fucking job. This nigga want to sit up here. But anyway, YouTube, it's your boy MB signing out. Peace and love. Salute to all my Five Glass brothers out there, Engine brothers, Interior brothers, everybody out there that's car enthusiast. Shout out to y'all, man. Um, Sprayway Custom, Live Custom, Tweet G. Uh, 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 Black Rob, man, everybody that's out there doing a thing, man. If I forgot you, my bad. Like I said, I got a lot of things on my noggin today. Like, you got to kind of, like I said, discomfort me. I ain't mad. I'm like, man, look, I just don't get it. And I've been knowing dude for some years. You know what I'm saying? That's the part that really, you know, kind of kind of dis discomfort me. You know this nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like, it ain't like I just met this guy. This guy. And they want to be like, the niggas you know, it's the one that don't want to see you progress, man. I'm trying to tell you. I just met a guy yesterday, and and the guy was talking about my work. He's like, man, I was on YouTube watching your work, man. He's like, man, you ahead of your time, man. You doing what you do. I like what you do. You you just so, you know, ambitions of what you do. So I like people that realize what I do and what I do is not like a piece of cake. You know what I'm saying? You got to pay the man from what he, you know what I'm saying, what he do. And then, like, you know, and I like it when people try to compare me to, Big shops, you know what I'm saying? Like, man, you doing shit, them, you know what I'm saying? But like I said, I'm just me. I'm trying to stay in my own lane. I'm not trying to cut nobody pockets out. You know what I'm saying? I'm just trying to give everybody a good deal. Like, y'all know me. Come on, man. Y'all been, those who've been following me know the boy. I've been out here for like, on this YouTube thing, about like four years, something like that, man. And, 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 and I like, it's just a lot of people in the neighborhood. I, all my out of towners, I don't have no problems from from Texas to Wisconsin. My fucking uh, New York, uh, man, wherever I got the, the cars from, you know, I didn't have no problem. It's the niggas and the neighborhood. Part of my friends. When I say nigga, it's, it's, that's a universal word to me. You know what I'm saying? Nigga don't mean you're black. Nigga mean universal. That's a universal word now. It's not just pointed directly towards one agenda. You know what I'm saying? But, you know what I'm saying? But, yeah, YouTube, that's all. I'm just saying, you know, your boy still doing what I'm doing. This, this was bothering me, man, because I couldn't believe it. You know, I'm like, man, Joe, this is a good deal for you, man. He was, well, I'll send you a little money right now and send you. Nigga, I just gave you a deal. It's like you go to Black Friday and they got that shit half off already. Then you want to go in there, hey, can I get another half off? That half off, nigga, that means it's free. You know what I'm saying? But like I said, YouTube, um, I appreciate everybody that follow the boy, man. Like I said, man, I will be showing y'all some more work that's different. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to keep everything different. I don't want nothing to be the same, so. That being said, peace and love.